Hello, in this video I'm going to show you now how to run the correlations and the regression analysis. This video corresponds to uh, section 4 in the instructions. So first I'm going to ask you to run bivariate correlations among the independent variables and the dependent variable to see what's the relationship there. And to do that, we're going to go to our data set go to analyze then go to correlate by variate and then what we're going to do is we're going to select the independent variables first and then the dependent variable all the way uh, to the bottom so that's going to be last we're just going to click OK and we're going to see this table now in this table what we're going to see is we're going to focus on the column on the last right. That's why we put the dependent variable at the bottom so we get that in the last column. And what we want to see is which of the independent variables are related to the dependent variable. To do that we look at the stars. If there is a star next to this number on top in, in, in this box right here, then we know that there is a correlation. Now is it positive or negative? This is positive correlation. Then we go and see IV fam, familiarity is positively correlated to um, the likelihood of attending a game and the same is for the other variables. So all of them are positively correlated. So now that we know that all of these variables are positively correlated then we know that we can include them into the regression analysis. The regression analysis is going to help us understand which of these variables are more important in predicting um, the likelihood of attendance. So to do that we're going to go to analyze regression linear and then here is asking me to define which one's going to be the dependent variable so I know that the dependent variable goes there and then I know that the independent variables go over here. Now to select several independent variables at the same time what I do is I click on the uh, um, independent variable I want then click shift in, in um, the keyboard press shift leave it pressing, continue pressing and then select the other variable in the end. So you're going to select all of them at once. Then select the independent variables and just click OK. And we're going to get the regression table. So we're going to get the ANOVA table, we're going to get coefficients table. We're going to focus on this table at the bottom. What is that we're going to look for? Well, we're going to look at the last column on the right. This column right here that it's SIG, that's for significance, that's the p-value. We want values that are very very low. We want um, values less than 0 0.05. The first value corresponds to constant. We're not going to look at the constant, th that's not part of the interpretation for this table. We want to see the independent variables and we see that IV like has a small value which is zero, very close to zero. Um, then IBFAM is over 0.05. Um, watching football is higher than 0.05 and expertise is higher than 0.05. So that means those are not predictors, but it's connection to UTEP is below 0.05, 0 0.05, I mean. Um, so that's a predictor. So IV like and connection are the most important predictors of attendance. So I come and check the instructions. So I have completed the correlations. I know that all, all of the variables are positively correlated. So all of them go into the regression, into the regression um, analysis. So what it means, all of them are related. Uh, the regression analysis, once I do it, I identify the, seek, the, 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 the significant values less than 0 0.05. We know that is IV like and the emotional connection to UTEP. So those are the two most important predictors 
of the dependent variable. And that's it uh, for this section. Practice first, then move on to the next video.